I see you. So, uh, slower balloons, all camos, and everyone's favorite bloody puddles. So I assume the, uh, the farm of the village is for intel. So, like, you have a sub here, and then a farm here, just for range. So let me just see, these rounds have no, uh, no leads. 33 would be, um, wave 1 and 3, so can I sell? No. What I'm thinking is probably a village to camo. Yeah, I need intel on this, this path, 31. We're missing all of it. Can I remove this? No, not, not worth it. Let's get trip guns. Let's play. Uh, never mind, it's all camos, I just realized. Hold on. <laughs> what I could do is get a 3 zoo 2 airburst, and then I just unsubmerge it wherever the village isn't. But again, there's no space where sub and village, these two, can cover all five. Let's start the round. No farm dropped yet. So I'm just gonna leave the sub on first. I have no idea if airburst can beat this round though. And I kinda doubt it. We might need more range, hold on. <laughs> Again. Need more coverage in the middle path, so let's get a 1-2-0. Okay, trip guns from the start, but we are dead on 33. Because we can't tell. This should work with minimal life leakage. Yeah, 20 lives. So, uh, I wonder if it shoots here. Do the darts loop around? Oh, I noticed this. Okay, this could help, guys. Even though there's nothing here that can pop camo, the darts themselves, if they're trying to attack a tower that, or a balloon that has camo, that's under Camo Village, then yeah, it, it will do damage along the way. I see. So we have a good start here. Last round. Let's see if we can place a farm in range of the village. Ooh, I can't. I might need to change my village placement to allow a farm on this right side. I just gotta find a way to do this so that I can beat 31. Maybe I should do it higher up. Here. So, 1, 2, 0. This will give intel to the middle path. And then, sub here. Two trip guns. Let's go. Alright, it is attacking. And again, this should be a 31 with about 20 lives left over. 25. Alright. And, um, we're gonna have to leak the one, one black balloon. That is fine. Otherwise, we do be 32. And then we do the same thing with 33. Without dying. That's actually a really interesting mechanic. I'm gonna pretend like I knew that the entire time. Also, we could die, because village is really, really far off here. But, wow, that, that, that homing range is huge. Look at that. Start up here, went all the way to the bottom, set the red balloon, and I think that's it. That's the end of the challenge. Very interesting showcase. Thanks for sharing. Intel subs got a secret little thing. Little secret that not everyone knows. Including me. I'm not sure how practical that's going to be in a real game, though, but... I don't know, maybe it might come in handy in the future. Daily Attitudes, double HP Moabs. Luckily, I'm given stats. So the speed is plus 10 to 20%, and the uh, HP is double. I think that's enough info we need to know to beat this. So, 27k. A lot of lives. Ben. Let's get the usual. Ben. Bank. 18,000 for defense. Oh, I just realized we have no camo. Maybe that's what these lives are for. Uh, first for reliable camo, I'm gonna get glue strike. Glue strike. This should be good for now to beat 49. Oh, also Moabs, Moabs. Uh, is one recursive good enough? I have no idea. Either way, we'll stick with this for now. This should work. I'm gonna zoom one two ice at the back too, in case the ramps get far. Nice. So this round, this round. Oh, also I used my five towers. Oh, I just realized. Um, oops. Okay, we're selling this ice tower for some more pump power. Um, can we just pop it at least? Come on, golden shark. I mean, if really we can't do it, I'm just gonna tank it. <laughs> um, can I use Ben ability? Ben, Ben, Ben. Please pop. Nope, that was a waste. Uh, I'm getting assassin though. So, Camus Rams. Oh shit, yeah, we have to tank these. Glue Strike does nothing. Just in case you're curious, I'm gonna use it. But it won't do enough damage to pop it. So we gotta tank this one then, because I don't have the cooldown up. Is there any way we can stall? Well, not right now, no. Maybe if I have, uh, what do you call it? A Turbo Charge over Recursive. If I'm gonna do that, I would restart. Also, uh, Camel Pinks. Honestly, right now this is a waste. 
We're not really saving much lives from camos, but it's gonna help for 56, the camo rainbows. I'm just curious, how long can I survive with the worst strategy ever? Because, again, we still have 5,000 lives. So this round, I'm gonna be needing that, uh, that glue strike. Maybe I'll sell the farm. It's We need the extra tower. If I need to sell it, I'm gonna sell it for a turbocharge. Wow, we still lose a lot of lives. 5,000, 4,000. Alright, we are, after this round, selling. Wait for it. Alright. This we're gonna use for the first two moabs. Hopefully it's good enough. Press 4. Please pop. Thank you. Uh, I wish I could get both in one, but we can't. That'd be nice. Ability, Ben. Oh, nice, we did it. Uh, I'm gonna let that Trojan go. Oh, no, actually. Yo, Trojan. Trojan. This is good. It means a mob only takes 200 lives versus 600. Maybe there's hope. Uh, Camel Lights. I think we're going to need to glue strike. Yep. Ouch. Those greens. 2,000 lives. Bomb Blitz. 37,000. I'm just gonna get Glaive Lord. If I can. Because that's gonna help for camos. We probably need it for 78. But yeah, right now it's just not looking good. I'm gonna turbocharge this. Yeah, turbo, turbo, turbo. Okay, I'm gonna restart. I'm gonna restart. Even though we're not dead, let's rethink. We got pretty far the first run. But yeah, we used up too many lives. I don't know if this will work. Can we get some reliable mob defense? First off, I hope this beats the Rams. And I'll leak a few zebras. Oh well. I might sell the farm afterwards if I see that we're barely beating it. If we need one more Kylie. Let's see how much how far we get with two more presses. Uh yeah, we're gonna pop it. We're gonna pop it. But do we have enough for the insides? No, we, we can't beat the, the zebras. I think what we need is to sell the farm, but I'm gonna wait till after this round. We leak way too much random shit. See so ya. Yeah. Another one. I'm gonna put this one on last, just to like, maybe pop some Cerams. And yeah, we should be able to beat Mobus reliably. Just watch. We might leak a few balloons, but that's not too bad. 8,000 lives. I can take this. So on 56, I'm actually gonna sell one of them though. Because I want to save lives for the uh, the rainbows. And yeah, use it whenever it's desirable. So, uh, now nah, it's probably good. We're still going to leak a lot of lives, don't get me wrong, but... We're going to save a lot. Just watch the pops. 300 lives saved. Well, actually, that's, that's really bad. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Probably not worth it, yeah. In hindsight, it'd be better not to sell. Because then I'd be closer to Glaive Lord. Uh, speaking of Glaive Lord, can I afford it? No. We're still like 15,000 shorts. Camel Eds, I'm gonna take it, because I realize, yeah, I'm probably not gonna save enough lives to be worth it if I sell. So, see you later, Leds. Can we break the mob shell? No, we can't. Down to 2,800 for 63, okay. This round we are dead. Let's just confirm that death is inevitable here. Okay, we lost a thousand lives. I'm gonna rethink this round. If I sell one more press for a glue hose, how many lives do we lose? It's honestly not a good spot though. 200 lives? Plus more? 400. Uh, let's try to reduce that to zero. Here is better. Come on, we missed a few, but we can get them on the way around. Nice. And this time. Zero lives lost. Nice. So even though we're good this round, I don't know about like the next few, because we're just gonna get further and further away from Glaive Lord if I need to keep selling for like a more press every other round. So 67 has camos. I'm hoping I can afford Glaive Lord by 67. Uh I'm not sure the money's there, but we're gonna sell everything for it if we can. The only issue is that I'm not guaranteed it's not guaranteed that a Glaive Lord can beat Moabs. In that case, uh, the strategy doesn't work. But that's our best shot. Ability. Bad timing. Can we beat that? Okay, 800 lives. Before I sell, let's do some damage. Oh man, 5,000 shorts. We are dead to the ceramics here. Ladies and gents, it feels like the only way out is Bomb Blitz, but then if I get Bomb Blitz, I can't buy Glaive Lord, and so I lose. Oh, if I didn't sell for the glue on 56, would I have been there? So if I'm below 23.9, I 
Then it killed me. Let me just test. No, it didn't kill me, but we'd actually be very close. So I should restart here, right? And just not sell. And then find a way out, because we're, we're, we're that close. Um, should I have gone farm also? No, right? No, because I only used farm for like two rounds, two and a half. It doesn't pay itself off that fast. So instead, we will just start with what I had. Recursive and three more presses. Also one thing, because we got the press earlier, we could save more lives, meaning we actually get money from the balloon pops that we leaked. That could make a difference. That could save more than the farm gives us. Did I try four ranks? No, I did not. But if I tried four, I wouldn't afford Clave Lord in time. You can't need Ben for the money. Well, technically, Ben... No, no. Ben's good, Ben's good. I think you'll make more money than you lose with the Trojan. So, I'm gonna use Ben's ability for the four or five mobs. Come on. I believe last time I tanked them. We're up 3k lives, this is good. Let's tank all the rainbows here. And... Wow, yeah. We're up a lot. Guys, we could totally tank 67, the way it's going right now. Also, this is going to leak a lot. Uh, whatever. The thing is, I don't want just a Glaive Lord, because, again, I don't know if it can beat a BFB. I doubt it. It's got, like, 2x HP. A little bit hefty for what we're dealing with. Yikes. Am I really taking this? Wow. I just did. Let's test now. So, is here a good spot for Glaive Lord, or... I mean, yeah, it's got a nice curve, but we just gotta wait a long time for Moabs. Sure. Wow. 81 bucks. So, this will be a good test. Can we beat a Moab? Wow, it sucks. So, we're only gonna sell for Glaive Lord when we have a little bit more cash. We gotta tank this round. And next round. And 69. We're down to 1,000 now. Yep, 1,000. Different placement? I don't know. Maybe up here. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure the glaive, uh, the ring, the ring range, is a little bit bigger than what it shows. So we could totally try the top loop, but I'm not comfortable selling every tower for it. Because right now, yeah, the money's barely there. Let's wait a few rounds. Like 70. Uh, Camel Whites. We should try round 70. Can we keep above 1,000? That's fine. So, uh, let's sell two towers. Is the money there? No, it's not. Need to sell one more. Wow, I need to sell one more? Okay, wait. Let's get the money for it, please. There we go. So yes, it does affect the balloons. This is a better spot than down here. But yeah, I needed to keep at least one of these guys from Wabs. Not comfortable otherwise. I could use uh, Ben too, by the way, for the ability. Do I need to? No, I don't. But we definitely need to spam the front with uh, more presses. That would help a lot more. Come on. Don't make me use Ben. I'm using Ben. Just to be safe here. Just to be safe. We can take this. 700. Wait for it. So the first one's fine. The first BFB. Number two is a little bit sketch though. So, yep. Gonna use Ben. Wait for it. When it pops. Now. There we go. And then when we get like another recursive, then we shouldn't leak any. And we don't need to use uh, the ability for Ben. And I believe that is GG. I mean, we don't have to beat 79, which has a 4 to 5 BFP. It's just more BFPs, more Moabs. So we gotta use Ben's ability now. I'm just not sure how we're gonna respond to uh, the last bit of BFPs, these three. Because we have no Ben ability. Keep that in mind. Uh, we also don't have any Glaive Lord Pawn Power back here. Ah. Let's try that again. Okay, maybe instead of... No, I'm maxing towers, just realized. Uh, if I sell this, another press. Oh, no, 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 two boomers. Goddamn. Uh, mob glue, mob glue, mob glue. Our lord and savior, mob glue. We should be fine, unless... No, no, okay. I was gonna say it would be fine unless glue can't pierce all them, but it did. We should get splatter soon, though. That would guarantee we don't lose. Good. I think that's the end. So, not bad of a challenge. We used up 95% of our lives that we started with. So, I'd say that was a pretty fair difficulty challenge. So, wait for the end. Just one BFB. And that is GG. Ending off with a very, very pleasing 500 lives on the dot. Thanks, Ben.